Hey guys, welcome back to the latest Z Code System video. Drew here speaking to you, and we're going to be talking about the NCAA basketball tournament, which is coming up this week. And I'm excited for it. This is always one of my favorite times of the year uh, watching college basketball. I've talked about it before here on the YouTube videos back in the day, growing up and watching these games as a child and a teenager. My parents let me stay home all day from school on those first two days of action to watch the games and how much I love uh, love that as uh, as a kid as a teenager and you know how that uh, you know is one of those things I remember from back in the day and I always get excited for the NCAA basketball tournament and try to watch as much basketball on those first two days as humanly possible so the tournament does tip off on March the 16th not technically on the 14th we had the first four games uh, which I don't necessarily uh, uh, personally, I don't think that those are, uh, to me, the tournament proper, which tips off on um, the 16th and 17th, which is going to be a great first day of college basketball. So as you see there right in front of you, we've got the Z Code System blog ready to go. You can read through that. You can find out who the favorite is. It's Houston Cougars. And you can also find out uh, about some of the other um, information going on with the tournament, and you can find out uh, some of the, the little details uh, going on with the tournament, number one seeds, uh, etc., and so forth. You can also check out the outright winner's odds, and we're going to talk about those here in this video. Now, one of the things I noticed about the NCAA basketball tournament, and we're going to get onto the odds here in a second, is the fact that the top two teams are not necessarily the run-of-the-mill uh, college teams that I would think of who are projected to win the tournament. You know, I usually think of teams like Kansas or Duke or North Carolina. I mean, maybe perhaps that is just me, you know, thinking years ago, but those are the teams that I usually consider as the favorites to win the NCAA tournament, but not so this year. And we could see a uh, another, a different team win the tournament. Now, one of the unique things about the NCAA tournament is that the last 10 tournaments dating back to 2012 has been won by nine different universities. Only one team has been a repeat winner over the last 10 years, and that was the Villanova Wildcats, who won the tournament in 2016 and 2018. Now, other than Villanova, different teams have won it each year. 2012, we had Kentucky. Then we had Louisville. We had UConn, Duke, Villanova, North Carolina, Villanova, Virginia, Baylor, and Kansas. And to be honest, when I look at that list of teams and I see teams like Baylor in 2021 and Virginia in 2019, I think, well, those are teams who aren't necessarily considered, you know, that college basketball royalty, like I would think Kentucky, UConn, Duke, et cetera, and so forth. So let's look at the odds and let's talk about who could possibly win the NCAA basketball tournament March Madness this year. Now, I'm using Bet365 because, of course, that is my favorite sports book, and uh, it's the one I prefer to use over all others online. So, you know, you've obviously probably got your favorite sports book, so don't be afraid to go there and to check things out. But, of course, for me, Bet365 is uh, the top sports book, especially when I'm doing my soccer betting, which is what I typically do, uh, even though I do enjoy my basketball bets. Now, there, Bet365, we've got loads of different basketball leagues. Uh, so if you are a basketball better, you might want to sign up if you're able to, uh, depending on where you are in the world, uh, because you can bet on various NBA markets, NCAA, Euro League, Greek League, Italy League, Japan, all kinds of basketball leagues. If basketball is your thing and if you can find a niche in that market, you can definitely beat the betters. But here we go. We've got the outright winner markets. Now you're getting three markets right now from Bet365. You're getting the to win outright market. You're getting the to win the regional and the stage of elimination, which that's kind of an exciting one um, because the NCAA tournament has been so unpredictable over the years. But we're looking at the outright winners markets and we've got the uh, the, the top 12 teams according to odds by bookmakers, specifically Bet365 right here. And um, in my blog, I just covered these 12 teams. Uh, I didn't go any further than that just because, uh, you know, I mean, obviously we could see one of these other teams pick up the trophy, but for time's sake and writing's sake, I just stuck with those top 12. Now, Houston is the favorite going into this tournament. They are in the Midwest region and they have the NCAA second ranked defense. Now, they are plus 500 to win the NCAA tournament. And uh, so this is a team that really could go all the way. 
this year. Now, I say there is a bit of a caveat with that. Now, they do have one of the top-ranked offenses it's in the top 100, but the team may not have Marcus Sasser, their top guard for the game. Now, Sasser averaged over 17 points per game this season. He is struggling with injuries right now. He's not 100% fit for uh, the tournament. He was absent during the AAC championship game, and Houston lost that to the Memphis Tigers, lost by 10 points. So that is something to watch out for before you necessarily make a head-to-head bet on Houston or an outright winner's bet, because really the Cougars, the way they go is how Sasser goes. Now, a team to look out for that uh, a lot of people are putting a star by is Purdue, the Boilermakers. They're going to play in the East region, and that is the region that is so far been called the weakest of the tournament, and the Boilermakers will start off uh, against Texas Southern or FDU, so not a difficult task for the Boilermakers to get through. Now, if they do make their way through the tournament on their way to the Elite Eight, they would possibly play Memphis, Duke, Tennessee, all possible opponents and all teams that, in my opinion, uh, Purdue can defeat. Now, Purdue have their star player, and that's Zach Eddy, and he averaged 22.3 points a game and 12.8 rebounds. So with Eddy leading the way, I think Purdue could definitely be a team to look out for. That might be a team that you want to believe or you want to uh, wager on making it all the way to the Final Four. I think this is a team that could really, really do well in this year's tournament. Now, as I said before, The last 10 seasons of NCAA basketball, we've only had one repeat winner of the NCAA tournament, and that was Villanova. Now, Kansas won it last year, and I can tell you right now, I grew up in Missouri, a Missouri Tigers fan, and I can't stand Kansas Jayhawks. Uh, Jayhawks are plus 1,100 to win the tournament, so keep an eye on them as repeat winners. Now, one of the things I say every year when it comes to the NCAA basketball tournament, I know there's a lot of people out there who would say, man, you're an idiot for saying this, but I'm going to say it and it bears repeating. I don't think Gonzaga are going to win the tournament. Now, a lot of people will say Gonzaga is a great basketball program, which it is. They get to the NCAA tournament every season. Uh, They go deep into the tournament a lot of the time. But here's the thing. Gonzaga have never won the NCAA basketball tournament. I believe off the top of my head, they've reached the final one time, which they lost. Every year, people get on the Gonzaga bandwagon. Since I was a teenager and Gonzaga started to rise up and become this uh, team, that uh, this outsider team in the 1990s, everybody has always gotten on the Gonzaga bandwagon for the NCAA basketball tournament. And as you see there, Gonzaga are plus 1,400. Again, I don't see it. I don't see this team winning the NCAA basketball tournament. It's just not going to happen. I'm putting my money behind one of the the other teams uh, to win this tournament. Now, I do like Purdue as a a team to make the Final Four. I like Kansas to make the Final Four as well because they've been there. They've done that. Uh, They are a good team with a good coach. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Kansas did pick up the NCAA basketball tournament trophy this season. Uh, But definitely keep your eye on Houston because if Marcus Sasser is available and he's fully fit, he's 100% or even maybe 80%, uh, I think the Cougars can do very well in the tournament. Now, keep in mind, just a couple years ago, Baylor went through the tournament and won that year. Now, Baylor there, as you can see, is plus 2,000 to win the NCAA tournament. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video here on YouTube for Zico System. Please go over, check out the blog, read up on everything I wrote there about the NCAA basketball tournament. You can check out some of the other blogs. I've also looked at the Champions League, or excuse me, not the Champions League, the Premier League, and uh, the outright winners odds going forward there in a two-horse race for the Premier League title. And also, you can read up on all the other content over at Zico System posted by our writers. In addition, we've got tons of videos here on YouTube. You can stay up to date on all the picks that we post on the videos. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything we post every single day. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win the NCAA tournament this year. Who's your smart money on? Uh, Who's your outsider as well uh, in this year's NCAA basketball tournament? And of course, if you haven't already, go over to Zico System, sign up today so you can get access to all of the systems and tools that are available there to help you make smart, educated sports bets on the NCAA basketball tournament and the other sports that you wager on. All right, guys, I will see you later. Good luck with your first round of NCAA basketball betting, and we'll be back soon.